Hello YouTube. Today we'll begin a new tutorial. This tutorial speak about dynamically created components and how to give them functionality. Our first program is how to create three main component at runtime. You can use Delphi or use Lazarus. Open your IDE. Create new project. Then add three buttons. Double click on the first button and write this code. When we click on button 1 after execution we will create a new button at runtime. First we will create a variable of type t button. The first line after begin will allocate the memory for T button object. The second line is to choose the component the button will appear on. Then we will add some properties. As top to define the X position. And left to define the Y position. Width to define the width of a new button. And height to define height. And we can add many more properties and event. We can see when we click button 1, a new button will appear. We can add a caption to our button. We can add a name to our button. And many more properties and events. I basically create a simple button with simple properties. And you can customize it as you want. As you can see nothing happened when we click the button we create. We will see in the coming videos, how to give it an event. Now double click on button 2. And we will write the code for creating T edit component. The process is almost the same. There is only few properties different. As there is a caption for a buttons. There is text for T edit component. As we can see the code is similar. We conclude that creating dynamically created components is almost the same. We need to know what component we want to create and its properties.
Here we demonstrate that the tEdit component doesn't have a caption property, but a text property. we can see we can write what we want. Because the read-only property is false by default, there is many properties set it by default, and that to facilitate the programming of dynamically created components. Go back to the form, and double-click on the third button. Follow the same steps to complete a third component, which is a type T memo. Always we need to set the values of top, left, height, width to specify the place we want the component to appear and its size. We can see when we place the cursor on a component on the component bar. A hint message appears showing the name of the class RT component derived from. We can put the cursor on a component to know what class it belonged to. And we can use this property to create a component that inherit the properties of two component or more. And that by completely different method.
Now let's write the code in a way that allows us to use the properties directly. We use begin and end to put all the properties in one block of code. Let's use the same method with the code of the other component. Now we finish our first program. Subscribe, share, like, comments. See you in the next video.